Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'll be going over part 4 of making a game of Pong. So currently we have no interactivity with our application. And by that I mean we want to be able to make our paddles move around. We just don't want to be looking at an image for the whole entire time. So for today's video we'll be fixing the paddles. So if we go over to our code we can see that in line 11 we have a new variable called paddle speed. And we set that value to 200. So this is basically the speed at which our paddles will move at. And over here we have our function love.load and basically this just um, initializes our game. And for these four lines of code here, we're um, changing the text. And over here we're initializing our window at a virtual resolution. And over here we have our player 1 and player 2 score. So they're both set to um, 0 at default when we run the game. And over here we have the pedal positions on the y axis and then over we end the function. And here, this is basically just um, this function, love.update, um, and delta time. So basically, this runs every frame with delta time passed in. And over here, uh, this is for player one movement, and we have if keep um, love.keyboard is down, w, then um, our player one paddle will be moving up. So basically, if we press w on our keyboard, uh, our paddle will move up and then also we over here we have s so then it will move down so this is for player one so over here we have the up and down arrows and that's for player two of movement and then we end the function here so over here we have function love dot key pressed key and basically when you if you press the uh, key escape then it triggers the function and makes um, our game stop and over here we have um, function love.draw. This basically just starts drawing things on our screen or printing things out. And here we're just printing a few basic things. And here is here we're going to render our first paddle to the left side. And here's our second paddle to the right side. And also we have the ball at the center. And then we're going to stop rendering at our virtual resolution. So that's basically it for the code. So now if we run this, we can see the result. So as soon as we come here, we can see that we do have our score in the middle of the screen and the ball is still in the center. But now, more importantly, if we move our up and down keys, one of the paddle moves, and if we move W and S, then the other paddle moves. So now that's a really good thing that we can move our paddles, but there's one a uh, small issue. If we move our paddles above the edge of the screen, it still goes. So that's not um, really what we want. So we also need to fix that and we also need to fix how the ball is not moving. So we also need to fix the ball movement and the paddles not going on top. So that's basically it for part 4 of making a game of Pong. If you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Anyways, thanks for watching.